Hi, Collective. This is Tiffany Intuitive One. Hey, guys. Let's see what we got going on in this energy. I hope you're having a beautiful day, my loves. Let's see. You really stand out. You stand out from the rest. That's why these people hating on you. That's why they hating on you. Because you stand out. You're different from the rest, Collective. And this is why they hating. Your energy is different. Rare. You're a rare breed here. Okay? Everybody missing you. Everybody missing your energy. Yeah, but they fumbled you. They fumbled you. They mistreated you. They tried to belittle you. Damn you. Okay? Because who you are here. Because you're a chosen person. Because they try to make it seem like you were somebody you're not here. Okay? And you took your energy back from these people. All right, and they thought by you, they thought by them going against you, coming at you like this, that you was gonna beg for their forgiveness, like you did them wrong. You didn't do nothing to these people. You have a beautiful heart, a beautiful soul. You came in with love and light to everybody. And now that you took your energy back, everybody's dying out and being depleted. Okay, that's why they miss your energy, because it's a beautiful energy. You have a beautiful aura. Okay, a beautiful essence. Okay, you're a kind person, loving person, understanding person, intelligent person, smart person, level-headed, grounded, balanced, and they can't understand how. Because they did so much to you behind the scenes, they thought you really was going to fall. They really thought that you was going to fall. Because they plotted so many plots against you. Nothing worked. You're too strong for these people, Collective. You are different. You really stand out. They find you mysterious at this time, too. Because nobody can't get in your energy no more. Because you took your power back. You was on mission for God to bring down these devils. Okay? Now that they're going down, yeah, now you're about to be rewarded. Yeah, now you're about to be moving on with your life. Yeah. That's how it goes here. Mm-hmm. Your real father's here in spirit. Yeah, if your father passed away, your real father, they sacrificed your real father. Your family members. Your family members sacrificed your real fucking father. Okay? Your real father's here. Danny, Daniel. Your real father could be Daniel or Daniel. Danny or Daniel. Okay? Or your name could be Danny or Daniel. But your daddy is here. Your real father is protecting you. Watching over you, watching you, um, and guiding you through this warfare that your family members stone on you. Okay? Yeah, people are suffering behind closed doors right now. Mm-hmm. They suffering. This cancer hitman keep coming in the energy. This person is suffering. Or you could be a cancer as well, too. You could be a Gemini, or this person could be a Gemini as well, too. This person could be a Gemini cancer. That's how it go. Cancer, Gemini. Cancer Gemini. Yeah, that's how it go. <laughs> yeah, this person could be a Cancer Gemini. Okay? Yeah, but you erased them out your life. You erased these people out your life. Yeah, you don't give a fuck. And once you have done that, because these people is bringing you down. They thought by coming after you, and they thought by working against you, okay, you was going to beg for them to stay in your life. No. 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 These people got tricked. They got they got tricked here. This whole coven, especially these hitmans, these ex-lovers, they got tricked. You don't need these people. They need you. Okay? You are very fortunate at this time, Collective. Mm-hmm. You are very fortunate at this time because you took your energy back from these fucking knocks. And God has been blessing you. And you cannot tell me that you don't feel, a, a, you don't feel light. Because I feel light. Okay? <laughs> I feel so light after all these energies is out my life. Okay? Yeah. I'm telling you, the whole coven sick now from that black magic they did on you last night. The whole coven is sick. The whole fucking coven. Yeah, they all mad because you didn't give them the reaction. They came in on you this week. They all came down on you. Okay? This Cancer, this Aries. All right? Comic friends. They're trying to come and manipulate you. Man man emotionally manipulate you. And they, you didn't get a re, you didn't give these people the reaction they thought they was gonna get. They really thought that you was gonna you know take on their burdens and beg them to come back in your life. You don't need these narcissistic people. They demons. They need your energy. They was they was using you as narcissists to plot. Okay, 
Yeah, because you're an empath. Mm-hmm. But that's the worst thing you could do to an empath. Because us empaths, we turn knock on your ass, too. We mimic your ass. I'm telling you. And that's what these people realizing now. Yeah, you flipped the script on these motherfuckers. Yeah, you gave them, like, the same energy they was giving you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gave them back the same energy they was giving to you. Yeah, you have a Panamanian, or you could be Panamanian. You have a Panamanian friend in the energy I'm picking up. Okay? An old friend of yours that was working with this coven to do black magic on you. And not everybody watching you fucking elevate here. Okay? They couldn't stop you from elevating. They couldn't stop you from moving on. Period. And not everybody panicking and going and fucking saying, because that black magic hit them and their families too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they looked at you like the fucking underdog. No, you the top fucking dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they always knew that you was the fucking top dog. Yeah, but they were trying to make it seem like you were somebody you're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your mother's here in spirit as well, too. You have the twin flames in the energy. Your mother and your father are twins. And that's where you're coming from. And this is your family trying to hide from you, who your real father is. Because this karmic uncle father is not your real father. This person is your uncle that you've been living with all your life. Your mother and father are twins. And that's why you are twin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't feel your mother had any children from your real, from your karmic father. Okay? Because your karmic father had your mother in the MK Ultra program too. Still in her seeds. Because she's a, she's a goddess. She's a chosen person. The same way they try to do to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. And, and your uncle father. Your uncle father did steal your life insurance that your real father left you. This is his brother. Mm-hmm. And stole his brother life insurance. And living under his brother's name. Your real father's name. These fucking criminals here. Your real father's coming for this fucking uncle father. Okay? And then they were trying to bury you. They were trying to bury you. The same way your karmic father tried to bury you like the same way they buried your mother and your real father. And that shit didn't work. Your real father and your mother's here in spirit protecting you from this fucking devil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they wanted to have you sick. Damn near dead. They sent these hitmen to get you sick. To poison you. Okay? To inject you with an infected needle. All kind of fucking bullshit, yo. Some foul ass shit. I mean, this shit was foul. This shit was mean. Evil. Mm-hmm. Your karmic father did this shit. Your karmic father sent to these motherfuckers, you hear? Yeah, to give you HIV, but I told you. Mm-hmm. And this cancer hitman, and the Aries hitman, or whatever. And all these karmic friends that was back in the day, that came back in energy to try to friend you up, all right? They was there to fucking try to hurt you. They was there to try to unalive you. They was gonna get paid. Okay? Nobody's getting paid because nobody... You ain't die. Okay? You ain't die. You ain't die. Nobody's getting paid. Everybody going to jail. But before they go to jail, for sure, the ancestors are sitting with these motherfuckers. Torturing them for what they try to do to you. Mm-hmm. They try to give you HIV over this weekend. Yep. That was the plan. That was the plot. Now motherfuckers are sick with the HIV. Now motherfuckers are sick with, the, with this disease. The whole coven is sick. They don't understand why either. But see, they all sleep together. And some of these coven members is infected. Then they all sleep together. Men and women. Okay? The whole coven bisexual. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you. Wow, this is too much. Mm -mm. This is what they wanted for you. This is what they got for them. Okay? This is what's going on for them. Yeah, they fucking shocked. Your enemies are shocked and alarmed at this time. But that death magic, that death magic didn't work. This plan didn't plan out. Okay? You did not get back with any of these hitmen so they could inject you with an infected needle to give you HIV. Okay? You did not. You did not. You didn't die. You did not fucking get HIV. You did not. You did not go to nobody's house. Okay, none of these fucking hitman's house. Okay, so they could fucking try to unalive you with an infected needle and give you sick. These people wanted you to be sick and dying slowly. And they thought this shit was gonna fucking work. Hmm. This shit is sad. Yeah. They already had a death certificate. They already got you dead on paper. 
They have you dead on paper already. They have you dead on paper when they sacrifice your mother. Mm-hmm. When they sacrifice your mother, this is when they make this death certificate. For one, for you two. Okay? And they did and they did not present a death certificate to the life insurance agent about your mother, um, social security or her life insurance. Okay? The blow up bitch and her mother is living under your name. And the blow bitch's mother's living under your deceased name. And your karmic father, we done picked this up already. Your karmic father's living under your deceased father's name. Still in their life insurance. Still in their motherfucking money. These fucking crazy bastards. They all going to jail, man. God is here. God is here. And they, they try. They really try to unalive you over this weekend because you got big money coming in. Okay? So they were trying to unalive you. And they already have a death certificate in your name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On paper, you dead. On paper, you are dead. I'm telling you. Yeah, somebody ain't doing well here. Somebody ain't doing well. A lot of people ain't doing well. But I feel it's just cancer. I mean, this is the, the energy of the day because this person is feeling God's wrath. Mm-hmm. So that's star seeds. Your knock at family ain't doing well. The whole fucking coven sick. It's going to be a death because they try to unalive you. Mm-hmm. Somebody's passing. That's for sure. This cancer. Wow, man. I said this in my last read. This person don't want to die. They keep saying it. They don't want to die. Mm. Yo. Yo, you got a new soulmate in the energy. This person is coming back to you soon or coming to you soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, insurance fraud. Yeah, your family's going to jail for insurance fraud. Your karmic father, first off, this blow a bitch and her mother. Her crackhead mother is definitely going to jail for insurance for it. Your karmic father is definitely going to jail for insurance for it. Mm-hmm. They did this shit back in the day. They they Whatever they did back in the day, and they sacrificed your parents back in the day, or they're going to jail for this murder. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. They're going to jail right now for this murder. They thought they was going to get away with it. They thought they was going to get away with this murder. And they thought they was going to unalive you. And once they start coming for you, the ancestors started coming for them. I'm telling you, your karmic your father may be passing from cancer. But this person, I feel this person going to live a long time in jail first. I feel this person going to live in a long time in jail suffering with this disease first. Mm. Whoosh. This is too much energy. Yeah, your past on lovers is haunting them. Your past on lovers is haunting this whole coven at this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they act like they was for you, but they weren't. They were never for you. You are different. You stand out. You stand out from the rest. Mm-hmm. You stand out. You are different. You're a rare breed here. Somebody got health issues. The whole cover got health issues. Because Spirit said is enough is enough. They were trying to get you sick here. A lot of people doing a lot of drugs at this time. A lot of crack cocaine. Yeah, the whole coven's on drugs. They have to meet it right now and get high. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking the truth, man. <laughs> uh huh. They had to meet him right now, I'm getting high. Okay? The whole fucking coming. Yo, the drug addicts. Okay? Yeah, they had to meet him getting high right now. And you already exploring your spiritual abilities because your shit don't amped up. Yeah, this comic father is always jealous of you. They're always jealous of you because you're way more powerful than them. This is a fucking warlock. And had a whole fucking couple of, a whole fucking coven of witches and warlocks doing black magic on you. And you defeated all these motherfucking witches and warlocks. They tight right now. They scared, they shook, they know people are passing. They know motherfuckers is going to jail. That's why they only drugs right now. They can't cope right now. They can't deal with this karma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your ex lover miserable because no one compares to you. It's this cancer. This person is in the energy heavy, wishing they never work with the covenant against you. Because this person is in love with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they miserable. Nobody compares to you. They were trying to do some type of lazy spells. That shit backfired. These motherfuckers are sick. This is a message. Okay? They can't do shit. They lazy. These fucking bums. They lazy. If these, these fucking criminals go around and start killing and stealing, okay, for people's money, then you a lazy motherfucker. Mm-hmm. That's what that's all y'all motherfuckers is good for. Okay, you low lives. I'm telling you, the tax from these family members, they low lives. Okay? Yeah, double jeopardy. They trying to unalive you. They already unalive you, dead on paper. So any of these motherfuckers drop dead, you already know what it is. The answer is not playing. 
<laughs> yeah, you on a high vibration. You on a high vibration. You bringing up the whole vibration. You bringing up the. You bringing up Earth's vibration. Okay, could you raise your vibration, star seeds? Okay, Shango is here protecting you and watching over you. You've been under heavy surveillance for a long time. Yeah, you've been under heavy surveillance since you was a child. Hmm. Yeah, because you a light worker. You a light being. You've been on heavy surveillance since you was a child. Your whole life been monitored. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they trying to steal your light. How the fuck you gonna steal somebody else's light? That's weird. That's stupid. I don't understand that part. <laughs> I really don't. I really can't understand when they say they try to steal somebody else's light. How are you going to do that? If you're not that person, if you're not blessed or anointed by the God, how is you going to steal somebody else's light? Are you thinking about unalloving a light beam that you're going to steal their light? Or you're going to walk in their light? How is that possible? You dumb motherfuckers. Y'all some ignorant ass fucking people, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they hate. They hate it. They hate you. They want you dead. I'm telling you, they hate you so much because you shine too bright. Because you stand out. You're a star seed. You was born like that. You're a fucking star seed. You're a light being. Mm. So they, if they're hating you, they're hating on God too, right? Okay. Yeah, comics making fake profiles to harass you. Mm-hmm. We don't give a fuck about that shit. They going to jail. It doesn't matter, chosen ones. You can make fake profiles. None of this shit is bothering you. Unbothered. Okay? Yeah, because the FBI feds and CIA coming in on these motherfuckers. Like I said, they're going to jail. Okay? Your fake-ass family members doing magic on your channel. If you have a channel. Okay? But you're moving. It doesn't matter. You're moving because you passed all your tests. Yeah. You passed all your tests. God is blessing you at this time. Big blessings is coming to you. Okay? Yeah, because you passed all your tests. God was testing them and God was testing you. And you passed. They fell. They went on the wrong path here. Completely wrong path. You moved in a whole other direction from these people. Mm-hmm. Yep. That man is strong as you and fighting with you. Your new new is strong as you. This King of Pentacles masculine. That's why I'm picking up a King of Pentacles. King of Wands masculine. Okay, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Leo Sagittarius Aries person. Okay, this person may have all that in their chart. Okay? Yeah, this person is strong as you. This person is fighting with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You challenge these people. That's what they're saying. Yeah, of course. You took you stood up. You stood up, you stood up for yourself. They can't stand it. They can't believe you standing up for yourself. Like they were supposed to come after you, bully you, torture you in this lifetime, and you were supposed to take it? You were supposed to take it, lay down and take this shit? No, you came out you came out like a motherfucking G. Okay? You took them shit. You took those attacks. You took it. Yeah. Now they're about to be fucking attacked. Now be coming for them. That's what it is, warriors. Now be coming for them. Now they're going to have to feel what the fuck you felt. And even worse. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, somebody older don't, man. <laughs> somebody on heavy drugs right now. They ain't got no more money to get that drug. Somebody older don't, man. I feel it's that cancer. Okay? Because they don't want to go to jail. They going to jail too. Okay? Mm -mm. And you definitely got a two of cups in your energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person could be in a king of pentacles. I mean, king of cups, king, queen of cups energy. Okay? Mm-hmm. Loving on you right now. Loving on you right now. Okay? This is loving on you. Because these karmic energies is out the way. So you and your Nunu could be together. Okay? They caused you to lose outcome. They caused you to lose, lose income. They tried to stop money from coming to you. With this black magic. Money spells. Okay, call it and making false reports. Okay, to your job. Okay, trying to fuck with your career. They losing it right now. These people are broke. Mhm. Mm yeah, they dope things. I'm telling you, they all crackheads. Mhm. Mm they all crackheads. They all fucking crackheads. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, I'm telling you, family members doing spell work on your channel. That's not working. God, you are working for God. If you have a channel, you're a divine reader on, on YouTube or any platform. God is cloaking your channel. Okay? Mm. 
God is cloaking your channel. Nothing's going to happen to your channel. And they fuck with your revenue. And they fuck with your views and all that. And work with people. Okay? The fuck with your shit. Everybody's shit is going to fucking fall apart. Period. Yeah, they're they looking at you like you dangerous. Yeah, you are. You are God's child. And they came for you. We are dangerous. They should never fuck with us. <laughs> you ain't, we ain't got no mercy for you motherfuckers either. We ain't got no mercy for you motherfuckers either. Hmm. I'm telling you what it is. Hmm. Yeah. They don't fuck with the wrong one. Yeah, they don't fuck with the wrong one. Yes, they did. Yes, they fucking did. Hmm. Yeah, they think you loving all love and light here. Yeah, we are. Oh, we could get we could get dark too, motherfuckers. Okay? We do what God say fucking do. Mm-hmm. We do what God say do. Hmm. Yeah, comics is marking the way you dress because they're haters. I've been going through this all my life. Because I'm a BBW. <laughs> okay? All my life. Doesn't matter, collective. They just jealous because you angelic. No matter what you're wearing, you look good. They hating. These are some stink fucking comic bitches. Don't wash their ass, right? Steal and kill and rob people for money. So they could dress up in all design clothes and shit. Okay? But they stink as hell. They dirty. They grimy. Okay? They fake. Especially these fake body bitches. All these injections and all kind of shit. Trying to look like you. But they hating on you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They hating on you. Because you know out there stealing and killing. Mm-hmm. To look good. You are you not you not out there fucking trying to alter your whole fucking body to look good to look like another motherfucker. Whatever you wear, whatever whatever you wear, whatever you can afford, it look good on you, and they jealous. Mhm. Mm I've been going through. I've been going through that shit all my fucking life. Okay, I could wear a five dollar dress, and I still look good in that motherfucker. You hear me? Cause you got the confidence, collective. Hmm. And I'm telling you, this outfit I got on right now is some fashion over. I bet you don't know how much this shit costs. $12. <laughs> and they jealous of that, collective. They jealous of that. Mm-hmm. $12. Okay. And I got it, I got it out the cell rack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so they probably say, oh, you dress, you know, you probably dress in cheap clothes or whatever, whatever, but you look good in them cheap clothes. <laughs> they got to still rob and kill the dress in Gucci, Louis, and all that shit. Yeah, live off other fucking people money, okay? If they didn't steal your fucking money, you probably could dress in Louis, um... <laughs> <laughs> you probably could be just in your motherfucking Louis and all that. But see, I don't care for name brand and all that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. <laughs> I got a lot of name brand. Oh, I got some shit. But I don't really care for that. I don't really care for all of that. As long as I'm decent, as long as my ass is clean, I'm good. <laughs> that Oh my goodness, collective. Oh my god, this shit is funny, man. Cause these fucking comic blow up bitches, man, and these fucking copycat bitches is such big haters. It's pathetic, yo. It's like, what the fuck, bitch? You are so immature and insecure. You need to really go and get some confidence. They lacking confidence. They lacking common sense. They lacking a whole lot of shit here. Okay? Mm -mm. They think it's all about the money. They think it's all about some name brand shit that you done stole from somebody else. Like, bitch, get out of here. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you want heavy surveillance at this time. Very heavy. They watching you. The whole cover watching you. You could be from New York. I'm in New York, boo. I'm in Brooklyn, love. Come check me, man. Okay? Yeah, when y'all get your money, I want my PC, too. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all. Yeah, they stalking heavy. They stalking these, these fucking ex-comic friends that's not picking up. The whole coven is watching you. Yeah, because they've been pretenders. They've been pretending their whole fucking lives. And all their masks fell off. You know what I'm saying? And everybody can see who the fuck they are. They can see there's some jealous-ass fucking demons here. Okay, that's coming for you. Somebody about to fucking... um. 
call you. They're on the edge of calling you at this time. A few people, I feel, want to come back in your energy because they miss your energy. They're going to call you. Okay? Some good, some bad. Use your discernment. Mm-hmm. They're going to call you because they're they watching you be king, king, rising. It could be this nasty blow-up bitch, this hoe, okay, that's been, 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 been deframing you, okay, since she was a child because she's jealous of you, this blow-up bitch, okay? She losing it out here. She the one who's mocking you. She the one um, talking about how you dress and look and shit because you're beautiful or handsome or whatever. He or she, you know what I'm saying? And she jealous because you're angelic and you get attention because you stand out. She don't. That's why she's been trying to fight you, argue with you, because she want that clout. She want that attention. You don't give a fuck about this bitch. This bitch is un insignificant. She don't compare to your energy. Uh, she don't. Yeah, she don't stand out. She's common. She's plastic. She's plastic. She's fake. She's a pretender. Mm-hmm. So I feel like this blow-up bitch. Okay, probably one of all she's around all her friends and shit like that. They waking up to the truth. Are uh, they watching you? They all watching you, and they can see. They can see why she's jealous. Mm hmm. And she ain't regret. Oh, everybody ain't regret. Mm hmm. They can see why. Yeah, they all can see why this bitch is coming after you because she's jealous of you. Because you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're real and authentic. Okay, and you don't give a fuck about that vain shit. This bitch is vain. Okay, this copycat bitch is rain. Okay, you a natural born superstar here. All right? Yeah. She had to do too much to get the attention. And she don't have it. That's why she's jealous. She don't stand out. She's comic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you don't even want the attention like that. Some of y'all definitely popular loners. All right? Y'all don't care for that shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit either. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm a loner. Okay? <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. I, I do good by myself, honestly, okay? I do not need a whole bunch of people around me, okay, in my motherfucking ear, in my energy, draining my shit, okay? Yeah. My daughter told me the other day, why you don't go nowhere and meet people? What the fuck I'm meeting people for? I got you guys. I got you guys. We could talk, okay? The fuck I'm going outside and meet these fucking demons for? The fuck out of here. I'm waiting on my new new. I'm waiting on my true divine spouse. Somebody who who's just like me. And you waiting on somebody who's just like you. Okay? So in the meantime, train time, you focus on the path and you get in your bag. Period. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all could be Haitian. Or you could be Haitian. Somebody's in the energy Haitian. Or you could be Haitian. But something went definitely wrong with this spell work these people did on you. That shit hit these people back badly, man. Yeah, this karmic bitch was lying on you to your DM. This karmic bitch was lying on you to your karmic twin. For a long time here. For a long time. Not as bastard waking up to the truth that this bitch is a fucking demon. But we don't give a fuck about this fallen twin no more. This fallen twin can stay with this fucking demon. Okay? Because you have a high level soulmate in your energy that's coming to you or you already met this person. Okay? Yeah, it's a celebration, I'm telling you. It's a celebration. You are free from this coven. You don't give a fuck what these people say, do, what the fuck, they live or die. You don't care, okay? You want to fucking come up, and that's all what matters. All right? All right, my loves. I'm going to leave it right there, babies. I love you guys so much. And I'll be back on for another download, loves. Later, boo. <laughs>